All right, in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to install a safety switch, also called a float switch, into your uh, AC system, into your drain line right here, okay? Let's get into it. Mechanics for non-mechanics. So the first thing you wanna do is shut off the breaker that goes to your air handler. There it is, we're gonna shut that off. Okay, so here's the safety switch we're gonna be putting in today. Um, I will put a description, uh, a link in the description section of this or something comparable. Um, this is an SS1 switch. Um, now this is gonna go directly onto our drain line. So we got the safety switch and then it has a wire connected to it, okay? The wire has these two uh, staples here on the end. We're gonna cut those off and we're gonna cut back the wire so that we can wire it in to our existing low voltage line. All right, so the first thing that we can do is go ahead and cut this drain line. Anytime you cut the drain line, have something underneath it, a Tupperware or something to catch possible water just pouring out of that thing, okay? So, um, so do that. Here's our PVC cutters. I actually need some new ones. They don't cut great, but this will be in the description section or something comparable. All right, so I'm gonna cut this thing. Now I wanna keep enough room on this side to um, to to re-put it back in. So I'm actually gonna cut it really close. Okay, now on this last, you gotta be careful because this thing's gonna break and you might have a bunch of water that pours out. All right, drain line's not too bad. There's a little bit of gunk in there, but not too bad. You, your line could be just totally filled with bunch of junk in which case you need to go to that video to learn how to clean it out i'm going to go ahead and cut back right here as well here's one side and there's the other side i'm just going to leave it in there so if it drips down goes into the pan so you can see even so this thing has got some junk in there right there at the bottom okay that's nastiness right so that's some nasty stuff so it's probably time for me to clean out my drain. Okay, back to our safety switch. So basically this is gonna be, this is gonna fit onto your three quarter drain line, okay? So one side will go on one and one side will go on the other. Um, so ideally you want it to be sized to fit this. Um, let me go into some detail on what this does. So um, if you take off, so first of all, we can take off this top part. That's the clean out part. Okay, so we're gonna open this. So we just put it toward the middle, put the other one toward the middle. It shows you how to lock and unlock, okay? Take this off. Now, what do we have here? This is a float switch, okay? So when this cup here fills up with water, okay, this is your float, it reaches a point and boom, it shuts the unit off. If they wired it, the way I'm going to show you to wire it, which is to your air handler, it's going to shut the whole system off. So you're going to come home. There's not going to be any air blowing at all. You're going to be like, what the heck? You're going to call your AC guy and they're going to come out and clean your drain line out. And you're going to be like, what the heck? It's a drain line issue. Why did it shut the unit off? Because of the float switch or the safety switch. Hey, if this has been helpful for you at all so far, uh, take a quick second to like the video, subscribe. It helps us to get out get this video, these helpful videos out to a larger audience and uh, hit the notification so we can let you know of when all of our videos come out. Let's keep going. I'm holding a camera. It's hard to do this with one hand, but this is basically what we're going to be looking at. So we have this part. We're going to glue it in to each side. Let's put the coupling on. Again, these are three quarters of an inch and I'd say 90%, 95, 99% maybe of units are three quarters of an inch. There are some condos uh, that I've seen with half inch lines and there's also condos I've seen where there's where both condos, the top and bottom, say first and second floor, are going into one drain line. And so they actually both flow into a larger drain line, maybe an inch and a half or something. But for these for this purposes, for most purposes, we're using a three quarter of an inch drain line. So we have our PVC glue. We can get that at Lowe's, Home Depot, or the link in the description section. So I'm gonna have my wife help me by holding the camera. She's also holding a baby. So if you hear screaming in the background, that's our boy. Okay, so we have our coupling here, our piece of PVC. Okay, we're gonna take some, put it in the 
this side and put it on the pipe side and you put it in and you can kind of rotate it a half a turn okay i sometimes will hold it in there for like five seconds and then boom it's good all right now we also have in line we have our safety switch so let's go ahead and put that in line as well and then we'll put a pipe in between so again get some pvc put it inside the line on the outside of the pipe and fit it in okay and we want it facing up okay now we have this uh these two parts here we're gonna put some pipe in luckily we have some room to play sometimes it's too tight okay but this we have some room to pull back on so that's good so we're gonna cut a piece you want to cut a piece a little bit over on both sides so i'm gonna go right there okay be careful as you cut this pipe people cut their fingers all the time okay that would be really bad to do it on video or would it be really good i don't know depends how you look at it i guess all right so this is our piece i think i think this is about the right size now i'm going to do this all in one since we got two lines so i'm going to use some pvc get it there outside of the pipe then i'm going to do it outside of the pipe inside of the switch and we're going to do it this thing dries fast so you got to be quick quick with it boom don't be hesitating be quick because if you're if you're not quick that stuff will start to dry and you're going to be in trouble okay so we have our line in now okay we have our safety switch in now we're going to get to the electrical part of it okay now again we have our power off make sure your power to your air handler is off these two a lot of times these low voltage wires will be out of the air handler so a lot of times you'll just be able to hook up the float switch find the two red wires make sure the power's off and just uh um just put the wires in that way unfortunately i have to actually open the panel to get <clears throat> to access these wires here okay so we're going to do it that way screws so our panel, we're gonna move that up here. All right, so we're inside our air handler right here, okay? We got a board, a computer board up here. We got our main power coming in right here. Okay, this is 240 volts. Do not mess with that, power is off. This is our low voltage wiring, okay? Again, a lot of times this is actually outside of the air handle, which makes it much easier. What we're looking for is our two red wires, okay? So the two red wires, this is one red wire. Again, do not touch anything high voltage. It's all, power should be off, but this is all low voltage, okay? Low voltage power comes from the transformer back there in the back, okay? So low voltage, 24 volts, okay? This is our red wires. So we'll take the wire nuts off. All right, so we got our two red wires. So we'll undo, undo them, okay? We're gonna wire in one side of the black wire to the red wire, and then the other one's gonna go to the other side. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is cut, cut these wires. These are our wire strippers, okay? Link in the description, something similar. So we cut them cut them and then we're going to cut them back a little i think i'm going to use the second one okay we'll cut them back about a quarter inch maybe a half three-eighths of an inch okay so now we have our two bare wires okay and we're going to connect each one side to the red and the other side to the other red. That's called breaking the red wire. One red wire comes from the transformer in, in the air handler, and one red wire comes from the uh, thermostat, okay? So we're breaking that, which means when that float switch shuts off, it's gonna shut off power to 
the red wire, you're not going to have any power. The unit's going to shut off. Well, you're not going to have any low voltage. Unit's going to shut off. All right, so we already have our base in there. Now we're going to put the top back in. We're back in. We're going to relock it, okay? And uh, relock it that way. Okay, so now we have our float switch in. We have our two wires. Two wires are gonna go up and over and down where these other wires are going into. Again, if this was outside of the air handler, it would be a lot easier. We could just boom, put them in. But we have to actually go inside for these. So we're gonna push one down. Good, that one went in. Sometimes these things will be tight and hard to push through, but these ones went in pretty good. Push the second one in. All right, once I put the camera down, I was able to kind of force them both through. So here's our two blacks. One's gonna go to the red side. And these are the wire nuts we're using, okay? Or uh, link in the description section or something similar. And basically these, they have a little metal thing inside, okay? A little metal cover inside that goes over both the wires and then you just screw it righty tighty all right so here we go black to red and black to red so we can push these back inside okay and we can close the air handler back up now we have our wire here again you can tie this thing up so it's out of the way and um Let's turn it on. I'm gonna turn the air handler back on. Now, if you wanna test the switch to make sure it's operating okay, okay, you're gonna, again, unloosen these. And this is the, the safety part right here, right? So we're gonna push it up. And my air handler is still gonna run for about two minutes because it does that but it's gonna shut off the condensing unit outside and then after two minutes, it'll shut the air handler off. So ready? Boom. That right there, shut off the air handler. I mean, shut off the condenser outside. And if you give it about two minutes, which I'm not gonna for put you through, the air handler will shut off. So yours might shut off immediately or yours might be like this one that has about a two minute delay because it, it still lets the blower motor get whatever air is in the duct system out of it and then it'll shut off. All right, so it just shut off right now. I think if we put it, put this right back on, it'll kick back on. Ready? Three, two, one. Hear that? So that's how we know the switch is operating good. And you put it back in. When you put it back in, make sure it doesn't bump anything. You wanna put it straight down in there and then lock it on this side, lock it on that side. Wow, I'm really sweating up here. Look at that. That's the AC life, ladies and gentlemen. Again, that's a float switch. Your, your float switch might look a little different. Again, it might be in that in line or it might be one that you actually put on a different line. Uh, but either way, it's the same concept. The little float that's in there shuts off the unit. Uh, hope this video was helpful for you. Like it, subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments section any questions that you may have. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.